Good day, everyone. This is Bill, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service office here in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I am going to go through a briefing on our thoughts on the severe weather potential for today. To start off, there are some early morning showers and isolated thunderstorms moving across the area, mainly across the Canadian border. These are not severe, but they could limit some heating for today. At this point, this limited heating appears more likely to the north of the Highway 2 corridor. Limited heating should result in limited severe weather potential, but this will have to be watched through the morning. Here is what we're thinking for highs for today. The limited heating would result in cooler temperatures in the north, while the southern Red River Valley may see the lower 90s once again. This next slide shows where we believe the surface low will track today. The low is expected to move from northwest North Dakota this morning southeast into northeast South Dakota by early evening. The trend on this track has been further south with the past few model runs. In the updated Day 1 Severe Weather Outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, the greatest risk for severe weather today has been focused into areas south and east of the Fargo-Moorhead area. This does not mean that other areas will not see severe weather, just that the better chances will be in the orange area on this map. Why has this area been adjusted from the maps of yesterday? Well, first, the low track has been trending southward. Second, there is a cluster of our high-resolution models indicating strong to severe storms developing somewhere over east central North Dakota by around 2 this afternoon, moving through the Fargo-Moorhead region around 4 o'clock, and finally into west central Minnesota by about 6. This is one of those high resolution models. Now don't focus too much on the exact times and locations. Use this as a planning tool, for it is not expected to match exactly what happens today. The previous slide would show our severe weather threat being done by 6 p.m. or so. However, this slide shows that some lingering strong to severe storms are possible across other parts of the area through late evening. Again, don't assume these to be exactly where and when the storms will be, but use it as a general idea. To sum up, the greatest risk area for severe weather has been focused into areas mainly south and east of the Fargo-Moorhead area. However, storm tracks may not match the risk areas perfectly. So be weather aware today, especially by mid-afternoon into the middle part of the evening. Remember to be safe and have a good day.